top five science and tech documentaries of 2025 so far. At number five, we have Titan, the Ocean Gate submersible disaster on Netflix. So back in 2023, this deep sea exploration vehicle disappeared on the way to taking tourists to see the wreck of the Titanic. This film is all about why the submarine imploded and how mistakes at Ocean Gate led to the deaths of everyone on board. Number four is Sally on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Sally Ride was the first American woman to go to space in 1983. And as you can probably guess, she was subject to a lot of sexism and very intense media scrutiny. What wasn't publicly known about her until her death in 2012 is that she had been in a 27 year relationship with a woman. This film is structured around that relationship, but it also contains a lot of really interesting details about her career at NASA. Number three is Pangolin Kulu's Journey on Netflix. Pangolins are the world's most trafficked wild mammals due to their value in traditional medicine. Kulu is a traumatised baby pangolin who has to be rehabilitated before he can be released into the wild. It's a really emotional film, you're going to get very attached to Kulu, uh, and it really gets across just how remarkable these animals are. Number two is The Secret Genius of Modern Life on BBC iPlayer. This is a really charming small scale series about the everyday technology that we all use. So things like fridges and motorways and roller coasters. Did you know that there's a really important part of an air fryer called a starfish, for example? Because I did not. And it's cheaper and easier to watch this series than to start taking apart your appliances. So I would recommend it. And at number one, we have Ocean with David Attenborough on Disney+. Plus. As you can probably guess, this is all about the incredibly important role that Earth's oceans play in keeping the planet healthy and how we're damaging them through things like climate change, pollution and intensive fishing. There are scenes in this that are scarier than Sinners, than 28 Years Later, than any horror film that you're going to see all year, but it also shows you that it's something we can change. 